Hello, my friends and pastors. I'm Karen, the final speaker. Firstly, I would like to thank the opposition for supporting us with our, our statement that saying that fast food is not necessarily healthy. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> All right, on to my next, next thing. I'd like to answer a few, more. I'd like to actually ask a few questions for whatever you have said just now, because most of them were not explained properly. Firstly, why is eating, why is preparing a good healthy plan not good for the rest of us? I would understand if you need a doctor to actually look into it, but having a healthy plan shouldn't be bad for the rest of the society because it actually stops us from being obese, stops us from creating a nation of obese people. The next thing, I would like to also point out that Eating out with family at the fast food restaurant is not the same as eating out with uh, eating P -O -I, in with family P -O -I. at home. Denied. So, <laughs> who are you to say that eating in a restaurant you can actually savor uh, the food that your mother prepare or P -O -I. father prepares? And Five sorry, denied. Let me finish first. You get your say, P -O -I. and you will get your say. P -O -I. No. P -O -I. Who are you to say that you can actually enjoy your mother's cooking with regard for your health? Let's be frank, in fast food restaurants, as we have all mentioned, it is addictive. There is refined salt and refined sugar. You will not stop eating it and you're just going to keep taking this trans fat. Trans fat is lipid, it's LDL, it's bad fat. It means that your whole body will not be able to process it and get rid of it. So, on to the next thing. One more thing. Um, this fast food actually does affect the society, all right? You said that it was a billion dollar industry. I'd like to say that this is only because the food served is actually usually the poorest quality and the standards are lowered to ensure the company profit, right? And next things, all this manufacturing, the manufacturing of the meats, these animals are treated poorly also because this industry actually requires a low-cost method. It's easier to just hammer the cow in the head rather than doing the proper way. And in mistreating these animals, you're actually tainting the food itself. Who knows what the animals actually have? And they'll mix the tainted meat with the farm meat. This is why poisoning often happens to society. All right? And next thing, you said that this is a very fast-paced industry, so people don't have time. Well, I guess you can wake up a little bit early in the morning. Right? Even though it's difficult for some of you, I'm sure someone can help you at home. And... Yes. And there's one more thing. They say that this actually creates opportunity for employees. I have to say that... Have you ever seen a proper cook in a fast food restaurant? In McDonald's or something? They don't have a cook, they have food that has already been prepared, then they warm it up, and all they do is that, 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 that. it's 23.90, please, thank you very much, and please enjoy your meal. All right, they have people who doesn't require a high education to actually do this thing, all right? And the next thing is what they actually do, they actually pride themselves in being a self-service environment. All right, this, this doesn't really create opportunities for work. You are actually, this is actually saying that you are minusing the opportunities for work. People are actually serving themselves. So I'd like to conclude, fast food should be banned. Okay, uh, good evening to everyone here, the hidden judges and everyone here. Okay, okay uh, firstly, I would like to say that how many of you Nowadays, let's look at it from our point of view. We are actually used as of now itself. We are actually very busy with the exams going on. We have a lot of studying to do. Now as, uh, as it is, we have SPM, we have PMR, we have A-levels, we have SAM, we have a lot of things. How many of you here actually know how to cook a proper meal without having the person eating the food dying? <laughs> Personally, I can't cook that well, so fast food is actually one of my uh, options. Other than my parents cooking for me, personally, myself, I don't feel that my cooking is... P.O.I. Uh, not yet. Not one minute yet. Oh, okay. 
So basically, I would say that my uh, cooking as an option, as an alternative to fast food, is not always and not necessarily the best choice we have. Next, we have modernization. We are actually progressing to becoming a better nation. How many of you still walk to church? How many of you walk to schools? I live in Klang. If I were to walk to church here, it'd take me two hours to walk all the way up here. We actually use things called cars. Now we have fast food. Fast food actually helps us save time. Despite the fact that you say that we could actually wake up a little bit earlier to prepare food whatsoever, I personally don't. How many of you do? We are so busy with our, our daily <coughs> excuse me, activities that we, have, we seldom have the time to even look at our health. Personally, looking from a point that where you say that uh, fast food is not healthy, generally eating fast food alone isn't the main cause of someone's downfall in health. How many of us actually exercise? How many, of, how many of us decide, choose to actually go out for a walk once a week? Let alone uh, an average person is actually given or supposed to exercise for a minimum of half an hour per day for five days a week. And that should be the considered moderate exercise. How many of us actually make up to that benchmark? I personally don't. Okay. With all due respect, considering that you said that fast food is... Uh, unhealthy. Let's look at non-fast food. How many here are Chinese? I personally eat Chinese food. And what is the common, uh, common denominator in all Chinese food? Pork lard. <laughs> pork lard is added excessively to give you that flavour in which all Chinese craves. Now, I'm not being racist, uh, racist or whatsoever, but you can even see it in Indian foods. Indian, we have a lot of mutton. How many people like mutton here? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, mutton generally, if you, you see how they prepare it with all the yellow stuff there, some of it, I don't even know what it is. So it's actually not so bad when you come to consider both fast food and non-fast food. Yes? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and with regards to what you say about the additives or whatsoever, yes, it's true. But when it comes to all this stuff, we have to weigh in both the good and the bad. So if we have additives, then we should actually make an effort to reduce the additives in fast food. And fast food alone doesn't uh, typically cover just your McDonald's, KFC, anything that is made fast, eaten fast. So your buns are also considered fast food. So it, on this note, that I would actually like to consider having both sides weighed and choosing the better of both sides, making a better decision whether or not fast food should or should not be banned. I personally believe that we need fast food and fast food definitely should not be banned. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, I would like to invite the opposition reply speech. <laughs>